Hello! We're doing some more Destulous games. Same day, more gaming. Crank up the Battlestar music. I'm rocking. Why are we on the same map again? I'm rocking uh, some missile ships. A little bit of missile tech that was recently discovered and shared with me. And I really want to use. It's a slight throw, but that's. Fuck it, that's fine. T1, Hunter, not me, Internet Explorer. God damn. Team 2, Warclops, Kettleboard, Dramus, and Meganaut. It's not often I'm the fucking bottom bitch on the team. I don't know, it's been happening a lot lately. I've been playing like shit. Anyways. Okay, Team 1 ANS, Team 2 OSP. Testulous, Rotated Pillars. Enjoy. By the way, I have a Spyglass Scout. Uh, any preferences, or I'm just going to throw it wherever? My Spyglass Scout is left grass, and it's going left side. Well, Hunter, you say this map prevents dementia, but um, I think that's by causing death that prevents dementia. <laughs> Brain death. Brain death? You get too old, you get sent to ACAP, you know? <laughs> sent to Caltrop. Caltrop prison. Okay, Grandpa, let's send you to ACAP. <laughs> Where you will be shelled by 600 meter millimeter bomb. Oh, Trap Hospice. T3 on the left. I think that's. Oh yeah, lots of left. SLO, SLO and two Receiving. Monitors. Falling into formation. Four ships, no reading. Sunny. All right, well, if we know there's monitors on the left, I'm just gonna go fight on the left. Launch confirmed. Let's see what they're doing over there. Let's take a look. Yellow a little couple of these. Oh, it's the enemy is securing zone eclipse. Oh, great. Did you fucking whiff it? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we are securing fucking zone first time. Why in this fleet? I don't know how the cruise works. Uh, yeah, I, I had my cruise angles too tight. Like a dumbass. Oh, they're detecting something though. Looks like they caught it. Yeah. We are securing zone dagger. Just a bunch of AMs, a shitload of AMs. One, two, three, four, five, six. All your missiles the enemy is securing zone boxer. One bulk freighter and a shuttle as well. Orders. Okay. I guess they've got motor span. I have a job to do. The enemy secured zone eclipse. Guidance online. Oh man, I don't know what seven seven triple seven nine is, but I just linked that. We have secured zone comet. Zone you got to cover A. Oh, you yeah. got it. The enemy secured zone boxer. Takes a minute to figure out where A is. Oh, good. Wow. And you now my that. missiles are just whiffing into the void.
That minimum angle will be like. I should. <laughs> S2H, not S2. Yeah. What? what? Fuck, man. We're reading you. It's a lot of misses for no reason. Locked in. We are securing Zone Atlas. Used to S twos. That is appealing. Orders. Guidance online. Pretty sure uh, three to four are all just on that left side. Yeah. 8820 near Bravo Warren is Warren Clops. He has an Acello anchor with a lot of roars. We have secured Zone Atlas. Do you prior, prior it? Done. Thank you. Confirmed. Maybe let's not missile the death ball. We really don't have to. Trying to get lands on the plasma liner. Yeah, but like they're death ball. We're losing a lot of missiles to PD. Yeah. Trying to get the ship that's uh... ready. position to try to take E. Hey, Dark. Yeah, what's up? You should missile 1298. It's by Orders. itself. I still don't know what the fuck that actually is. Who cares? Missile it. Well, it hasn't moved in a while. I'm using Wakefell. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, oh, it's probably an e EWR tug. Oh, good. There goes my keyboard. Oh, you know what? I'll go kill it then. Don't worry about it. Receiving. That's what I would guess it to be. Reverse thrust. God, how do you flip the map? There we go. Man, I hate rotated pillars. It's not like rotated nicks where it like gives you a new perspective, but just makes everything hard to see. <laughs> the shuttles have lyrebirds on them, by the way.
Solution locked in. Uh, this death ball is chasing me down, by the way. Yeah, I'm setting up beams to uh, intercept it. them at A or D. Uh, not A, uh, C or D. Excellent. I'm just gonna keep running. I'm gonna lock the PLN for you. I'm, I don't care about the PLN. Okay, what do you care about? I'm just taking out feeders. Actually, the PLN's in range, maybe I do care about it. But I mean, I've got locks, I don't need locks. Okay, I'll try and heck P it, hold on. Yeah, they're starting to split up a little bit. Yeah, I already got a volley heading into it. I think they're all gonna get lured by the shell. Yep. Nice. Well, at least the shuttle's down. Presumably. Ah, oh, and that's what was giving the PLN its locks. Because this thing, I don't think this thing has a pinpoint on it. Yeah, yeah. How is this still fucking moving? Oh, those are fucking pods. Okay. We're reading you. Hello, Internet. Don't mind me, just yeah. passing through. <laughs> for a second, I thought we bumped each other. Oh, for Close. fuck's sakes, man. Your one pavise saves you, you rat fucking cunt. <laughs> Uh, no. If you want to continue this battle, I have jamming uh, incoming with the mail. Okay, they, they can't. They have Launch tracks on me, clear. so I think I'm fine on that at the moment. And they're they're not chasing me. The the feeders are breaking off. They're moving behind the rock. One two nine eight just fired its main pinned. engines. If we can just keep them pinned at sea, then we're in good shape. Yeah, I'm firing on the UWR. Do we know it's an E? Um, monitors. Oh, uh, two, Solution locked two shuttles, in. I think. Okay, so no monitors over there? I don't okay. know exactly, though. I'm not sure. Missiles are almost depleted. That's a good thing real to missile the shit out of. Plasma liner's going down. Oh, plasma liner's dead. Oh, good. Nice. Oh, I get those. I don't think anything else is in range for me. Repositioning. Okay, I need to be a little higher and shoot. Uh, if you can get tracks on Mex feeders, the higher ones, like 1242. Standing uh, by. There you go. Got it. Tube clear. On it. On it. There's one going for C. Uh, 4270. You can get that dark. Yeah. I'm in position to take E, so just give me a minute. Trade cap. Solution, 
Solution locked in. We're reading you. Nice beams. He's dead. Orders. Oh well. Standing by. The triangle. Orders. I think I need to leave because they're gonna come out close to me. So I'm gonna pivot around. Ready. Yeah. Side here. Or Clops is just burning for Delta, it looks like, and I can't I can't do anything about that. I think he's backing off now though after the beams. Yeah, yeah, he's backing off. They're pulling towards D, I believe. Receiving. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna commit to fire on that then. On it. Course laid in. Uh, if we get locks on the stuff going to D. Oh wait, that's far. Okay. Yeah, like that stuff is near D. Orders. Receiving. Launch tube clear. Need a little bit of help on seven eight, seven five eight one. Make sure four five eight five is a liar bird. We're reading you. Full burn. Nine one four three going for C. Or nine four one three. Standing right, by. Thank you much for that. Prison. The enemy is securing zone dagger. Uh, Hunter, you might be able to I see. Launch to Where? clear. C. I've oh, got some cruise missiles headed over there. Busy. Standing by. Okay, well, fucking... I mean, oh my you god. Just put your oh, in C. You just put your Corvette in C. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, a, is something going for A? Feeder going for A? The enemy is you lock it for me, I can shoot it. Feet are locked. Thank you. Launch tube clear. This is dead. Nice to done. The enemy secured zone dagger. We are securing zone eclipse. Guidance online. We are contesting. 
Testing Zone Eclipse. The enemy secured Zone Atlas. We are securing Zone Eclipse. We're reading you. We are contesting Zone Eclipse. We are securing Zone Eclipse. Ready. Solution locked in. Ugh, come on, dude. What's up? We have secured zone eclipse. Like, just Duddle's fucking detecting missiles before they can even see them. It's cool. Standing by. Ready. You can lock on 2917. Solution locked in. Orders. Ball point blank range torpedo. Starting to lose Corvettes at an uncomfortable rate here. I got a good angle on these cargo feeders, just need beams to fire. The enemy is securing zone eclipse. Receiving. Well, looks like decoy heck D is really useful against this shit right now, so. I don't know what I can do against these fucking shuttles as well. Like, they're just killing all my shit. I'll try and fight this stuff at D. So, I don't the think enemy like need to push in there. We'll come around Guidance online. We're not, we're not behind yet. We're gonna be behind you soon. Repositioning. You can probably take the orders. Preparing to launch. 
Aye, aye, full burn. Repositioning. Guidance online. We are securing zone dagger. Awaiting orders, Commander. We're reading you. Missile reserves are empty. Awaiting orders, Commander. What killed you on B internet? I have rocket shuttle. I Commander. thought my uh, size one Receiving. backups would have killed it, but it didn't. <laughs> Receiving. It's dead. We have secured zone dagger. Then my fleet to A. Aye, aye, full burn. What can we do for you, Commander? Understood, we're Ships on route. Ships are coming back down towards me. I can't fight these fucking monitors. Where is this? Above B. Okay, I better shoot at him soon. Ready. I cannot take B. Okay. That's fine. Orders. A six two three dead. We can prioritize the stuff at A. That's where I wanna be. Aye, aye, full burn. Aye, aye, full burn. Oh god, I fucking got him. I'm so goddamn lucky. I'll fly my ship into the point. Okay, I actually am gonna get B. Standing by. Luck. We are securing zone boxer. We're on our way. We're reading you. I am out of missiles. Oh, wait, no, I got one heck P left.
receiving. Awaiting orders, Commander. Ready. We are securing Zone Atlas. Internet, which one do you want me to heck be? Any of them, really. Okay. Probably the one by A if you can. I can't do that, but I can do the ones that are moving on to C. We're taking fire. We need repair team stat. Standing by. On it. They just don't really die. No. So when you spam them, it's kind of AIDS. Yes. I don't know, I keep seeing Anus trying to throw really hard at Fleet Select. <laughs> I mean, we'd want to throw Fleet. My guy. In fairness. He needs to decently, I assume, versus them. It's just a thing of uh, catching them out, you know? Yeah, it's still 30,000 damage. Yeah, DD's good. good. It's, it's kind of risky, like, doing it that way. But we were on board with it. Like, if I had tried to fight them instead of running away, we, we'd probably just lose. Oh, yeah. It's like, we gave up a lot of board control. It's like, when we have an ambush fleet, we have to give them a lot of ground, and then take it back really fast. Let's go back to the waiting room. Actually, get keep locks through the jamming. I mean, that didn't impede me, honestly. Um, but eh. like, I, honestly, I didn't see it from your angle, but like, the hybrid strikes really dealt some heavy damage oh, to yeah. us, really, and then they just kind of outrolled us. Yeah. Yep, the hybrid strikes did the damage. The Axfords didn't overcommit. They withdrew into their keystones, and the keystones did just fucking work. Just yeah. a nightmare. I did very little. Dramus did not much. None of us did anything. That's not entirely. Oh, wait, actually, Warcop's got two people, though, don't they? Yeah, he ended up picking up some of uh, Jaramus' the sh ships. The shuttles I got, everything else was mine. So, so each and every one of us did poorly. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because it was still very difficult killing you all. Okay, yeah. But, like, you, you did. You did beat us. I think if I hadn't overcommitted into the Keystones, I, I would have been at enough range to stand off with them, but... It was just difficult because we had to we had to gain yeah. the cap advantage and see honestly if I just delayed rather than going to D and if I just delayed just so stood still for a minute and then pivoted onto C after the axe herds had ducked behind the rock that probably would have worked out better. Yeah, every time we tried to cap C with a single monitor or something, it just got deleted by like cannon fire. 450. Yeah, 450s four yeah. took it out. Just fucking yeah. Yeah. I mean, those those experts did some fucking work too. Oh yeah, I didn't see the damage numbers on those. Their damage numbers are not astounding. They're just normal solid damage numbers. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, I feel like I, they I had to I had to keep kiting and shooting at max range, so the accuracy is very low. Yeah, but I, I feel they did work in excess of their stated number, honestly. 
Yeah, I mean, even with the um, the accuracy at, at outranging us, it um, you know the the I had my uh, monitor set to evade, and it just they just don't have the, the agility. Yeah, they just don't evade anything. for shit. Yeah, it's always funny to me when uh, a ship exceeds its received damage with repaired damage. Like I get it, um, you deal some damage to yourself, and fires deal damage, and so on. But uh. It's a sign that you're tanking relatively well. It's a sign that you're an expert. <laughs> Did I say something different? <laughs> but how did that feel to ANS? But like losing until we started winning. <laughs> yeah, which part? It just took a long time to kill you. Which, personally, I didn't really like. It felt True. like we had to work really hard to actually win the game. We had an immense number of monitors who do the one thing, die slowly, so that checks out. Yeah, I just... I mean, this is the thing about this. We don't want them to die too quickly, but if you can just spam them and not die fast, then... Like, I right, feel like... Me... Let me point this out. Nothing about this patch changed the way that game played out. It's like the modders were taking maybe slightly less bounces from 450, but that's it. Like the difference in armor, like it, it didn't like this could have been a game on the main branch. Right? Except there were like C C nineties on the monitor. Yeah, except the monitors that could actually do something. Yeah. Well also the turret hold costs in the uh uh, large, uh, this DC storage gang, a uh, DC team. Those did have a pretty big effect on the monitors. I haven't. None of my monitors have those. Well, the T twenty cannons went down from uh, what's it like by ten points, and plasma went down from like forty to ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there were more monitors than on me. So yeah, we we just sort of had more monitors and more firepower and more armor, but it, honestly, it is very similar to current. Like, no, that's... I would, I would literally bring this before the capital buffs with like fleets like this, right? Where we just had a ton of monitors, and it oh, felt. Come on, Hunter. There were we weren't any guns except four fifties on our team. Like, what what would the armor affect? Uh, right, I realize, but like, <laughs> dude, mm. if that was on main, those monitors would have just died way faster. Well, yeah, and and I think of this, it those wouldn't have been that long. It wouldn't have been that drawn out of a fight at all. No, like, but at the same time, those Axfords, they, those Axfords, I mean, they did the good job. They played good tactically, but they also just, it was, that was 3k fleet versus 9k of fleet. Yeah. And it, it survived just fine. Um, also, what, notably, the uh, 450 that was being fired was all AP. You couldn't use the HE very much. That's just not true. No, look at the stats. I, I already left. Okay, yeah, I guess more, the AP. part that I was watching was mostly AP. Being played. It was mostly hard more, AG. more HE than AP. Okay. It was. That's good to know. Um, that said, it was like there was AP. There was a considerable amount, and it did work. So you know, they, they were pretty close. I would have shot more AP by right now. Really? Wow. I need to redo the ammo and use apparently. I mean, you were doing a lot of work personally kiting at distance, which is like the worst for your ammo, so this is a pretty extreme case. I mean, I killed... I killed four monitors with Heck P that game. Okay. Monitors that on all top, had as much PD as they could manage. On top of the, like... On top of the 450... Like, how many monitors were even in that game? How many actually died to the four fifty, and how many died to the beams and the heck? Like I know I killed four, so. Uh, it looks like we had fourteen monitors. Okay, yeah. so like nearly a third of them were killed by heck P. Like this is, this is okay. kind of what I'm getting at a little bit here. Like it's not. I'm not Dude, disputing the fact that you can use guns like, against you, them, but it's you, like, you well, if you let me fucking damage. finish talking, then maybe you know what I'm saying. You said it twenty times. Did I? Really, Rymark? Tell me what I was going to say then. Um, you're saying that, that Heck P has done a giant work, and that without it, those cannons would have drowned on it. 
that, like, yes, everything else functioned a little bit, but it just wouldn't have done its job fast enough. Yeah, because using only guns wouldn't have fucking got the job done. But, like, <laughs> get, get, look at how Gee, many guns holy there shit, are. so crazy. Okay, you know what? This time I'll play guns. We'll play all guns, and we'll see how it does against that. And if I'm wrong, and we win, then sure, I'll shut up. But if I'm right, and we fucking lose, because clearly bringing guns against only monitors isn't gonna work, then 52 centimeters is too much. I mean, I, I'm always fine to do test games. <laughs> but, like, I'm not kidding when you, I say you've been spamming the same line for days now. Yeah, don't fucking interrupt me, man. I don't fucking give a shit. So, uh, I think if ANS has twice as much 450 as we did that game, they don't have to kite. Like, if there's three fleets of monitors against three fleets of 450, like, the 450 just straight up wins. But, I mean, you don't want three fleets of 450 car, but, like, one and a half to two fleets of 450. So you yeah. think two fleets of 450 could beat that? I think one and a half fleets of 450 would kill it fast enough to be better than what just happened. I think missile fleets are bad. Nobody should bring missile fleets. Well, maybe that's just me. I did 32,000 damage. It... Yeah, I disagree with that as well. I think that yeah. missiles like literally killed two-thirds of that fleet. So if Even missile fleets are bad, well. that's a problem. I think if you brought a standard, two front lines, a back line, or, or a missile, and then cap fleet, like, it works. Like, if you have two fleets of 450, missiles, and then whatever your cap anti-light, whatever that is, I think you have enough firepower to drown the, those monitors between two fleets of guns and between the missiles. Yeah. In a standard fleet comp, I don't think that's... The monitors do what they're supposed to do, and that's tank. And it's not overwhelming if you have any sort of equivalent firepower, and it's even shorter if you have missiles. Which I, I think that works, but... Question is, is what about the C-65 monitor? <laughs> The dual 450. Mm -hmm. right, here, here's one more thing I want to point out. Nobody so far has brought any jamming on OSP. It's been like jammer free, completely OSP teams for some reason. I don't understand. I mean, for it's worth, I, I did try in the past, but uh, Alliance somehow was able to see through my, my monitors anyway. So I don't think jamming would have helped them anyways. I had pretty much permanent no. sensor coverage across the entire map. The yeah, you had too many offsets for that. And like, honestly, a skilled player, a skilled player probably can make good use out of jamming with these monitors. So that is fair, but I'm just not good. This is, from my perspective, okay, assuming that ANS doesn't just giga spam a giant ball of fucking 450 ships to beat this. Which, okay, and even then, I really... I'm not 100% sure on that. I, I think sub 5k points of 450 is plenty. If you have two fleets worth of 450, that's a pretty big commitment just to be able to beat monitors. Well, it's, oh, they don't just beat well, monitors. We beat yeah, it with so one fleet of 450 this Hold now. on, hold on. By two fleets of 450, are we talking like full committal, like four Axfords or two BBs? Or are we saying like maybe one Axford and then like 1200 points worth of supporting ships so you end up with two axfords and then a bunch of cappers or something well that's what we yeah. just did and that was 3k worth of fucking 450 and again it wasn't the 450 that killed most of the fucking monitors it was yeah. missiles so if you're three, saying yeah. we actually need like three or four axfords worth of firepower i think you need three axfords worth of firepower yeah, I think three Axfords is enough to stand against about 6k of monitors equivalently-ish. And, like, it is fair that all ins, right, that, like, require specific counters can distort the game. That is Was, was that an all-in? Like, uh, that, was that really an all-in on monitors? It, it, was it was three fleets of essentially monitors, monitors with one Acelo in there for flavor. Yeah. There was what? definitely some shuttles. There were definitely there shuttles in that. Sh there was one there. fleet of shuttles. Shuttles cost nothing. Fleet of bot brought monitor 14 monitors. That's two and a half fleets of monitors. 
which that is, is a lot of monitors. That's, yeah, that's that's true. That is a lot of monitors. But I, I don't know, man. So about that distorting perspectives, uh, we also kind of tested the Oops All Battleships fleets last time to make sure those weren't like obnoxious as fuck to play against. Yeah. So maybe you guys should just play all monitors Oops. and we'll see what happens. I'm fairly certain we came to the conclusion that they were in fact obnoxious. As yeah, they, they're very obnoxious. Yeah. Brett. The only thing I'm thinking about this is like, you know, it keep the armor, remove, uh, like lessen the armor and all those different things. But for me, it feels like if you make, if you ever choose a lever to make, you know, monitors more expensive or like to have less monitors ultimately with them being limited to five modules two of which get used for pd just kind of feels bad to buff you know feels bad to buff like three weapons or maybe that 1k uh, that one plasma turret you know it's cheaper than not buffing them though it is but it do, still feels bad but it, what? it can be it can still be cheaper but it, it, it once you get to that break point it's just like why bother with monitors anymore? Which is what why these are being buffed in the first place is monitors used to just be meh, line ship can do it better. And even with the 600 millimeter, I feel like they're in a very shy place where if you debuff that armor too much, it's going to be the same thing. Meh, just, just spam line ships. Just so I'm like 100% clear on my position here, I simply think 52 is maybe slightly too much, and 50 would probably be fine. Even 48 might be too little. I don't know. I would just yeah. like to see what happens. I don't, yeah. I'm not advocating for the fucking... I'm not advocating for the monitor to not get its armor buffed. I understand why it's happening. I'm just saying 52 feels like too much to me. And there are a lot of good reasons for why I feel that way. Can I ask? Okay, so the thing is with armor being a breakpoint thing, right? If you go over the armor breakpoint, it does full damage. If you're under it, it doesn't. That's just how it works. Kind and, of. And, well, well that, that is. It's a flat barrier. Well, that's like it's how it angle. works. It, it I, I, what I understand. Some, some can, some don't. But but that's what I'm saying is but it's dependent if you on decrease angle, it, yes. yeah, if you decrease it to the point where um, that that flat bounce doesn't bounce HE, then they start crumpling again. Right. So, so Warclops, right now it's 16, there's a 16 degree change on the armor where H450 HE doesn't do anything. Reducing it to 50 changes that by like four degrees or something. That if, only, if only somebody had a tool that lets you visualize different amounts of armor against different guns. Yeah, if somebody made a tool like that, we'd you make that for me, zero. puppy? Something to consider. The I believe that is the joke. Yes. Something to consider is that the reason monitors were crumpling before is that 250 HE could work against them sometimes after their front got shot up a little bit. And that I mean, would just rip people apart. 250 HE is 60 centimeters. Oh, no, that's AP's pen. No, AP has 60. HE has 40. Um, so I'm saying after they've taken a little bit of damage, that HE can pretty easily go in and kill things. I still think monitors probably need more offensive than they do defensive buffs, but I don't we'll know see. about that, buddy. Well, I haven't I haven't seen anybody actually run a monitor fleet that's trying to have firepower. Everybody's trying to put a bunch of DC on them. I don't think that's right. Well, um, all of my stuff is like literally my stuff had no DC. Yeah, yeah, same. Like look, look. Go ahead. Like what? All right. Um, we're hitting the fifty-minute mark, so people still have things to say. We still have things to talk about, but. Um, ba, 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 what are we talking about? Uh, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.
Dark uh, Orbis Coliseum link description. Come on down. Maybe don't. I don't care. Have fun. See you later.